today we're in Valle Blastenord. Blast, Blastenord. Damn my French. <laughs> and uh, it looks like we might be able to ride, but probably, I don't know. The snow is still coming down, so snow is not great for fat biking. <laughs> as, as weird as that sounds, the conditions have to be kind of prime. So this is actually uh, Shanahan, they call it, and it's pretty far. This has like been the re most remote place that we've gone out to, and oh, it's, it's really nice out here. They don't even have uh, electricity yet. There's actually a helicopter over there because they're working on bringing electricity to this little spot. Let's take a look at the fleet. Oh, they got Rocky Mountains. Take the bike that you want. <laughs> Anyone. So this is Matthew. He works here in the summer and the winter yes. and working on getting these trails in the summer and the winter in, into shape. This is Gabe. He's the guy from previous video. He set this entire thing up. He's actually going to actually get to ride with us today. Ha 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 ha! Ha ha! Yeah! Don't follow my line, he says. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's sometimes better to just blaze your own trail. You get stuck in ruts otherwise. Over the frozen river. My pressure's a little, a little high to you. Oh, just stuck in a rut, man. Oh, I can't get out. Oh, and then the side is thick. This is gonna be, oh no. <laughs> this is like my first time fat biking. It was a, more of a torture test than a ride. It's great. This is the life. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you feeling about this? Uh, bad. bad. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing. Yeah, yeah. it's just torture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God leading the way. Oh, yeah, a little nicer on this one. Oh, yeah. We're barely sinking in on this stuff. One thing I haven't figured out is that, like, pedal in smooth circles so I'm not bouncing all the time. <laughs> Doesn't look like Gabe is bouncing at all up there. I'm just boom, 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 boom. Limbo! Oh, that's for uh, maple syrup. Oh! I was totally wrong. This is the, the maple syrup lines. Oh, that's awesome. The sugar shacks. It's all just gravity fed. Oh, in the summer they're a lot higher. Okay. Don't have to duck under. Like I was saying before, Gabe is the guy who made all this happen. He emailed me a couple months ago and said, Hey, you want to come to Quebec in the winter and do some fat biking? And I was like, oh. <laughs> and so they actually worked with the Office of Tourism in Quebec City to pay me to come out. And how cool is this? This has been so dang cool. Out here in the winter wonderland. Making all kinds of new friends. Having a blast. Dreaming about what this looks like in the summer. I'll just have to come back. Yeah! <laughs> oh, deep on the side. Oh, he did the shortcut. <laughs> ale, ale, ale. This is not bad at all. That first little track was definitely a fight. That was just a torture test, like I said. <laughs> this is magical now. Oh, cool. Oh, I'm heating up now. I have to take it down a notch. So we're on our way to a waterfall. We'll see uh, if there will even be water. Probably gonna be some ice. Downhill, foggy glasses. Here we go. Not a 
problem. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> perfect. It's its own bike stand. As long as you don't get the rotors, you're good. Incroyable! Incroyable! We made it, yeah. There's the waterfall. Yeah. <laughs> it's just amazing. A time lapse would be great. You can see the running water down there a little bit. I think this was mine. <laughs> oh. I think the slower, harder gear is better. Not spinning out so much. Oh, oh it's time for a break. Get the heart pumping right back at it. Oh. It's like everything's fine. You're in a groove and then boop. Yeah. Catch the edge. They were saying that probably in a couple more hours, this is gonna be not that great for riding. Another three inches of snow coming down and that'll be that. Woo! <laughs> this is a lot more forgiving. <laughs> you get in a little trouble and you can save it. <laughs> I haven't gone down once yet. I, I, on the way up, I put my leg down. <laughs> it helps these trails are a little wider than some of the other ones. Oh, there he goes! Nope, I say, oh, no. Adventure! My grip is definitely getting a little worn out after a few days of this. Hands aren't getting cold. It's just a different kind of death grip. My hands are definitely feeling the effects. They don't, not necessarily cold, but definitely a different type of pain. I'm guessing the full rigid plays a part in that. I'm not used to my dainty hands getting beat up by the soft snow. <laughs> Super cool. <laughs> Man, I just have this really weird feeling. I'm gonna knock my front teeth out. I don't know what it is. I think, I think what it is is that every other part of my body right now is covered, except for my mouth. So it's like, it feels super vulnerable. Here's the trick when you come under one of these arches with snow on it, you get safely through and then you try to hit it <laughs> so, so your buddy behind you gets covered in snow. Then you crash and look like an idiot. It's coming down. Big ol' snowflakes. Oh, the high speed track. <laughs> Snow flow. Back to the beautiful beginning. Yeah. Made it. Hell yeah. Good boy. <laughs> All right. Good boys. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the Canadian adventure has come to an end. This was my final ride in Quebec in the snow and it was pretty sweet. Look at how perfect this is right now. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh. Gob, thanks for making it happen. Yeah, no worries. You're man. the man. Every other time. Oh, so uh, yeah, thanks to Quebec City Tourism for paying me to come out here and ride these crazy trails. And I hope you guys enjoyed it too, because I did. And I will be back in the summer. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you on the trail. <laughs>